Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a chilly, cold, misty, lion-filled morning here at Juma Private Game Reserve. Uh, my name's Brent, I have Brian and the thumb on camera, and we have Alex and Tara in final control. Um, as you can see, uh, I've got my latest fashion add-on. Uh, it has been very nippy this morning with the, the mist all around us. Um, it's 16 degrees Celsius, 61 uh, Fahrenheit, uh, although it feels a lot colder because of the dampness in the air. Um, for those of you who weren't with us on the Sunset Safari, um, we've come back to check on the Inkahuma Pride, uh, who are still feeding on this uh, hippo carcass. It doesn't look like the hyenas found them last night, uh, so there's a lot of very fat, happy lions around at the moment. Um, and uh, for those of you who might be new, um, we are live. You are seeing exactly what I'm seeing in real time from wherever you are in the world. We're also interactive, so you can ask us questions about what we're seeing on the drives. Uh, so welcome to everyone, and um, enough of me, and I think let's get back to some fat cats. couple questions yesterday whether the whole pride was here. Uh, they are. Um, <laughs> doesn't she look very comfortable? That's one of the sub-adults, just over a year old, lying up with one of the adults. That looks like a very content lion. So we can actually see the whole pride from where we're sitting at the moment. So we'll start, there we go, Ooh. oh, so much effort to move. Nice thing about a cold morning like this, there's lots of mist. Um, it might play a little bit, but I doubt with bellies of that size. This little one looks like it's going around greeting. Oh, bless you. Oh, a little piece of meat there. See, this is the nice thing about these, these cool misty mornings. You can see a little bit more, oh, there we go, <laughs> bite on the tail. <laughs> a little bit of playing. Uh, the lions are very, very content. They've all got very full bellies. So there's no need to be on the move or be hunting. Uh, so uh, full of the joy of life this morning. I mean, even from, from last night, the, the belly sizes has increased. And, and even the speed at which they're, they're feeding has, has slowed down, sort of a much slower sort of chew. But um, here we can try to show you the whole pride now. Um, we'll start, there's one on the carcass. What should we start up behind us? Yeah, let's start behind us. So while we've been sitting here, one of the ladies got up and walked around and has just laid down right next to the vehicle. Oh, shit. There we go. It's one of the adults, one of the older adults by the looks of things. So as far as I understand from the other guide, she's between 8 and 10 years old. You can see there's a few little scars there. More than likely those scars are from her pride mates while they're feeding. They can be very, very aggressive with each other um, if they're hungry and on a fresh kill. You just see that sort of belly. Very fat cat. And then if we pan around, we've got another lioness on still on the carcass, still feeding.
Musa looks to be one of the adults. Oh, someone else is coming to join. And you see by behavior, it's not really feeling behavior, it's more playful. Another adult lying up there. And then just to her left, we have one very fat sub adult who is fast asleep. And to the left of that, there's another sub adult a little bit closer to us lying up behind a little r red bush willow. So how many are we on now? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the last two are lying a little bit further away. And there's one fat belly there, that's number seven, another one of the adult lionesses. And just above you can see that light color in the grass directly behind her. That's the young males. That's eight. So the full the full pride is is here. They all look like they've just heard something. Oh, stalks on. That's the nice thing about these cool mornings. Happy cats, jumping cats. I'm just going to move the vehicle. Try to do it quite quickly because they are playing behind us. Just got to be quite careful because we are surrounded by lions at the moment. sub-adult seems to move away to try to find another place to sleep. One of the adult lionesses seems to, like to go jump on her. tracks crossing into into the area uh, and we were following the tracks and we found where they chased a giraffe and we're trying to figure out where the tracks went from where they chased that giraffe and um, Andrew moved into the area to give us a hand looking for the lions and he managed to spot them from the road so we came here this hippo probably killed early hours of yesterday morning and um, 
we think the mother hippo was in the dam. She's probably not there now, but this is a young hippo, probably at oldest around a year old, that the lions managed to catch. And how they would have done it, they would have been, oh, there we go, come on. I think they might go down to the dam for a drink. I think we'll follow them. Oh, there's lots of games going on. Let me just speed up quickly. would have managed to some of the lions would have jumped onto the the young hippo while the others would have kept the mother busy and this is the Inkahuma pride eight animals in this pride uh, they're probably the pride of lions we see the most on Juma oh. I think they might have a, a good little bit of a game down when we get closer to the water. So very happy and fat, contented lions. They've been feeding on this carcass for a full day and a full night. Still quite a bit left. I think I'll still be here for this afternoon and possibly even tomorrow morning. Really good spot for them. They've got water. They've, they're less than 150 meters from Bufferzok Dam. Um, lots of meat. And this is where here coming. You can see now, and we've got a beautiful, cold, misty morning. Uh, so they are full of the joy of life, lots of playing and jumping. Um, I think there's going to be a bit more of that as we get as they get closer to the water. Oh, let's see, we have enough. So they're heading down to the dam. Here we go. <laughs> try as soon as this sub adults cross the the road we're gonna try to zoom up ahead so we get them oh head down by the water oh, yeah. another line traffic jam so I'm gonna go a different way um, as we might experience a little bit of breakup as I drop into a drainage line to try get in front of the lions um, Maybe we can, let's avoid the drainage line. Let's try go through here, rather. So the, there is a hippo still in Bufflesock Dam, I can see ahead. Look at that. Heron sitting on top of it. choose to drink in these shallow little spits of a, of a dam and the reason for that is it it helps them protect themselves from uh, the, one of the other super predators out in the African bush, the Nile crocodile. It would be quite hard for a crocodile to approach a lion at this part of the dam but as they drank off the main part of the dam wall um, it would be much easier. Sunrise Safari. The 
Some would like to know, with full bellies, will they wait till they're hungry to kill, or will they kill if another opportunity comes? Some of them would definitely kill again. Oh, uh, Brian just got up. There's a big game about to happen. So you can see that lioness is stalking the other one. That is uh, the sub-adult that's coming down. This could be fun. to avoid the attack. Oof. Let's see if the interest holds. lines that are lying next to the car and um they're very very smelly this morning so that the stance is still there lines running in movement and they didn't like it so we heard that behind us nice that's a wonderful thing about lions on cool misty mornings they really like to play so guys if you hear that click 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 that's just my camera um taking a few still shots Every time those lines play or move, the hippo doesn't like it. <laughs> and the funny thing is it's the old ladies who, who seem to be wanting to cause all the trouble this morning. It's not the young sub-adults. It's the adult females that are starting the, the play. the Sunrise Safari, uh, Rume is asking how much cold, what sort of temperature of cold can a lion tolerate? Um, well, Rume, they do, uh, I'm not quite sure on the Fahrenheit, I think it's around, I've seen them in below, below zero centigrade, which is somewhere around 30 Fahrenheit, if I remember correctly, I think it's 32, but um, they can tolerate quite cold weather. Uh, and in certain parts of Africa, like in the deserts and that, where the temperature does drop well below zero centigrade, you do find lions. 
So they can tolerate cold weather. I don't know how well they would do, do in snow. Fortunately for these lines, I don't. I think I've only, if in my memory serves me correctly, I've only personally ever seen frost in this area once in the last 10 years. But uh, you will notice lions that do live in slightly colder climates do have often thicker, thicker, thicker coats, and that's just a, a regional adaptation um, to deal with the cold. Bustles hook down water, wash down a hippo. I reckon. I probably think this these these dams now as we go in, into the dry season, but definitely later in the dry season, are, are almost more elephant urine than than water, and buffalo urine and hippo urine. But for a lion, that's as good as a really really nice glass of wine. some lion urine into the mix. Let it ferment for a while. Got a little age correctly. Bubbles of damn water. Sunrise Safari. Um, Donna is saying she's she's quite surprised that there are no hyenas here yet. Uh, and what's my opinion on that? Me too, Donna. Um, although the, the hyenas I found out from Scott yesterday have moved dens to a, f a den further from here. So uh, maybe they just didn't come through this area. And there hasn't been much wind. Uh, so the smell hasn't permeated. And that kills very fresh. So even though if you're right close to it, it, is, it can be a little bit smelly. Um, it's, that's, I don't think that scent is traveling for a, a long distance. in the vehicle quickly. Oh no, I think, oh, can't see what's going on up there. near impossible to say whether it's the same hippo that was in here yesterday oh, I don't think so I think this is a different one the head looks a bit bigger to me looks like this one's possibly a young male but with the grey heron sitting on the head but we will come have a look a little bit later let's keep up with those lines before it gets hot because the sky is clearing really quickly at the moment lots of blue oh, lots of blue coming through
two seven are probably going to start walking up. And what happens with lions is that quite often when they're moving like that, the others will lie in ambush. So they'll be waiting to pounce. I do know that they did have a, a ninth member before I arrived. The thing with lion prides is their numbers do fluctuate quite, quite a lot. Um, there we go. These lions are really worried about the small. I mean, she's even burying her feces. Just like your domestic cat would with a little box. Although lions don't actually behave like that too often. I know this pride has had some epic battles with hyenas before, so that might be a, a reaction to that. She might go down to the water. I don't think she's the same one that was... I think she might be the one that's feeding, not the same ones we were watching earlier. vehicle here. I think we're going to change our plans and we'll wait for her to pass and we're going to shoot back down to the water. Maybe those two sub-adults are going to be the ambush, laying an ambush and not being victim to an ambush. Lioness gets down to the the water. So we'll just sneak into the stand right here. And maybe slide forward a little bit more. two lying down here next to the dam and there's an adult lioness uh, she spotted the ambush so she's changing her direction but still coming down behind us hi bunny welcome on the sunrise safari um Bonnie would like to know would they leave the meat for the other predators or would one or two always stay around? Bonnie, lions are not going to leave the meat for any other predator. They might leave some scraps that a hyena might be able to take advantage of. Here we go. This 
stalk is on. submissive behavior there, ears flat, trying to keep the head down. Oof. Oh, hasn't this been wonderful uh, this morning? Uh, we're still going to hang around here for a little bit, but uh, I don't think there's going to be uh, too much action for now. So I think we should, we're going to cross over to, to Scotty, uh, see what he's been up to and see what he's found for you this morning. And we will be back with you a little bit later.